Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is the first video in my three video series that I'll be creating for Durga Puja. I'll be making three different types of makeup looks depending on three auspicious days. So today's look is Shoptami inspired. So I'm wearing this really nice yellow silk sari. Uh, this has katha stitch on it and I really like this. I got this when I was in Calcutta last. So I kept this very simple and easy to recreate. I am using mostly drugstore products for this look so I hope you guys enjoyed this and let's get started so I'm gonna start by prepping my skin this is a sheet mask and I feel like special occasions really deserve that extra step in skincare and I feel like using a sheet mask before you do your makeup really helps in adding a lot of moisture onto your skin and it also really makes your skin look radiant and dewy so I'm gonna keep this on for like 10 minutes and ideally I would recommend that you start doing this when you do uh, your hair or probably you're getting dressed. So I would ideally recommend that you do that then but I have already gone ahead and done my hair and I've worn my sari. So for foundation today I am using the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation and I'm gonna use this YBP sponge to blend it all in. So this foundation has a really heavy coverage and because this is a festive look, I know a lot of you are going to take pictures and this foundation looks really nice on camera because of the coverage that it gives. Even though it has a good coverage, it's not really heavy on the skin and it's also very easy to blend. So I really like this. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten that area and I'm also going to take it onto the center of my face because this is going to really brighten and bring those area forward. I'm actually going to blend it with a brush first. This is the back 2 to 1 brush. Then I'm gonna just take some powder onto a fluffy brush and set my entire face. So this way the makeup will stay put for a really long time. Another tip for you to make your makeup stay the entire day is to just spray in a setting spray onto your sponge and then take it and press it against your skin. So that is really going to push the setting spray into your skin and it's going to settle everything in and make it extremely long lasting. For my brows, I'm going to use the Benefit Cabrow. I'm just slightly shaping my eyebrows. So I'm taking this shade from the pack Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm applying that all over my eyelid. So I'm going to use this as the base color and I am pulling this outwards towards the crease. So this is going to give that really nice warmth onto the eyes. Next I'm taking a fluffy brush and gently buffing the edges. I want this to be very very wearable and achievable so I'm not going to keep a lot of blending and buffing uh, but this does need one more coat of color so I'm just gonna add that I'm also keeping the intensity stronger on the outer side of my eyes so I'm going to take the gold color onto this faces eyeshadow brush and I am not wetting the brush or anything. This is a dry application. And I am gently dragging the brush onto my eyelid because I really want this to be pigmented. And I'm only going halfway across and then pulling the brush like this just so that the application is not as dense as I'm going outwards. I'm also applying this starting from the inner corner so I'm going to use this, this particular gold shade as the inner corner highlight as well and then pull it outwards like this. So I'm just taking a little bit more of that warm terracotta shade and just gently buffing this in. And now I'm just going to buff the edges 
just to make sure it's all seamless. Now this is totally optional but if you want a little bit more glitter onto the look so you can take this liquid golden eyeshadow and just apply that onto the eyes. So I did not apply that directly onto the eyes because I didn't want too much glitter. I think it's going to look really nice on top of the golden eyeshadow. I'm also taking in a little bit onto the inner corner directly from the brush. I'm actually liking the glitteriness so I just went ahead and increased it a little bit and I'm just going to use my fingers to pat it. And now I'm going to draw a winged eyeliner on both the sides. I am going to curl my lashes now. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that terracotta shade and apply that onto my lower lash line as well. And then I'm taking the same yellow shade from this Lakme 9 to 5 palette. I'm using this for the first time. They have just come out with this. It is super soft. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm literally just touching the kajal on my eyes. I'm also going to tight line my eyes, which means I am applying it onto my upper waterline. It might look really uncomfortable. You'll get, you'll get used to it. I feel like I've desensitized my eyes from wearing lens lenses. I've been wearing lenses for so long now. Now it's time to apply mascara onto my lower lashes. So for my contour, I'm going to use this one from Maybelline. I'm not going to be super precise. This is the Natio Contour Brush. It comes with their contour kit. Um, yeah, so it's a very nice fluffy angled brush and I'm going to use that right here and I'm not going to be super harsh with my contour, just adding the slightest bit of dimension. Now contour is very subjective to the face type that you have. So technically you're supposed to put it underneath your cheekbones just so that you carve out that. It basically is just adding some shadow onto your face because you know you have applied foundation and that has like flattened your face. Now picking up the blush from the same palette, I'm applying that onto the apples on my cheek. Alright, it's time for highlighter, which I'm so excited about. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. So I'm going to apply that onto the top of the cheekbone, right here where the light falls naturally. Just taking slightly onto my nose as well. You can skip this if you don't want your nose to be extra shiny. And I'm also taking a little bit onto my cupid's bow. I am also going to take it onto my collarbone. I think it looks really nice when you're wearing a sari to have like your shoulders highlighted, especially your collarbone because it like pops. I'm actually going to apply it all over. And if you feel like you've gone over the top anywhere, it's just makeup. You can always, you know, change it and like apply it according to your liking if you do not like like so much highlighter then you can definitely tone it down and not apply as much as i have um it's just subjective whatever works for you please work it that way you do not have to do exactly what i'm doing you take what you want and you leave what you don't want in the process this is just how i like to do it so yeah for lipstick, I'm going to use this red lipstick from Color Bar. It's called Trend Setter. 
I'm also going to draw a bindi using the same lipstick. I've grown up seeing my mom do this all the time. And I don't have a bindi with me. I was too lazy to go out and buy one. I don't want it too big, just a little bit. And I think that looks good. I'm just going to powder my face just a little bit more because I can see it become oily here. I have really oily skin, can you tell? So I am just going to powder right here. Underneath the contour. And on my forehead. And that's it. I am so excited. I really, I do I have lipstick on my teeth? I do. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to wish all of you a very, very happy Durga Puja and a very happy festive season ahead. I hope you're having the best time ever reuniting with family and just having lots and lots of good food. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and you do not want to miss any other future uploads. Then you can also hit on the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I put up a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!